Hey Glam Dolls, welcome back to our channel. I hope you guys are fabulous today. I am kind of losing my voice right now. If it's not one thing, it's another with my health. I'm telling you what. Um, everyone in my office is back sick again, which is why I continue to get so sick all the time. Luckily this time, I don't feel sick. My voice is just a little scratchy and I got a little cough. So let's pray that that's all that happens. Lord help me. And I have a really crappy immune system, you guys. I do have um, rheumatoid arthritis and a thyroid issue as well, which causes me to have a um, autoimmune deficiency. So I end up getting sick. If someone comes within a mile of me that's sick, I end up catching it. So as you guys know, I recently got the Norbina ABH collection. And I already did a look with it on my last video using all of the pretty greens in this palette. Let me go ahead and show you right now. I'm gonna turn it upside down so the mirror doesn't flash all in your face. There we go. So this would actually be the first row. I have it just upside down. Um, but this palette has like so many pops of colors and so many neutrals in it compared to volumes one and two. Um, I did order volumes one and two because they didn't have them in stock in store and volumes one and two will be here on Monday. I was hoping it would be here this weekend, but it's not. So I decided, hey, let's get some use out of this $60 palette and uh, do another look for you guys because as I was looking up reviews after I did mine to see if everyone was kind of on the same wavelength with me with this, um, there's actually not that many reviews of volume three out. There's a lot of volume one, not very many of volume two, and even less of volume three. So I decided to throw my name in the hat again and do this little simple look today. You guys are gonna see the craziest freaking process, you guys. This eye look almost did not make it. It almost didn't make it, but I'll let you see why. And it goes to show, never ever judge someone's makeup by the process it took to get there. As judge them on their end result because this process was not a pretty one not at all so I'm not gonna ramble on too much except to say this is going to be the last time you can earn an entry to get into the giveaway I like just wanted to hop up throw another video up um, earn you guys another entry so you guys will have been able to earn four entries into the giveaway and Sunday, tomorrow is the last day to get all your entries in. And then I'm gonna draw the winner next week. And the grand prize winner is going to receive the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker Palette. And if you go back to the first video I did on this, you'll be able to see everything. Um, and then the second prize winner will win the Violet Voss Essentials Palette, and both winners will win two pairs of Morphe lashes. So, all you need to do on this one is just leave a comment, period, point blank, comment whatever the hell you want to. You must be subscribed to our channel also, but go ahead, leave a comment down below. Just, hi, how are you? You can put an exclamation point. I don't care. Just leave leave a comment. That's all I need. Do that and you will earn an entry into the giveaway. And I will be drawing the winner on sometime next week. I'm hoping by at the latest Wednesday, guys. At the latest Wednesday. That is all the rambling I have for today. So let's go ahead and get in to this look really simple kind of messy not the prettiest look using the norvina volume three so jumping in we're gonna start with d3 which is this bright 
peachy orangey color and using that as our transition and because these are pro pigments these are pigments there can be some staining so I want to warn of that and that's also why I laid down a ton of powder to catch any of it so it doesn't stain the foundation that I laid down so then next I'm taking B4 which I thought was going to be a lot darker or deeper than this so I'm packing that on the outer corner and sweeping that into the crease and blending and I will say on the first layer it blends out really really well but I did try to pack it on and get it a little deeper and as you can see on the outer corner where I packed it it's a little bit patchy it's not I don't know it's just not all one cohesive color it's really patchy in parts so this one I was not happy with at all so I just deepened up the crease a little bit and then I'm just taking whatever's left on the brush for the transition and just blending that all together and then I'm going to go in with C4 I believe it is and it's a little bit deeper and I'm going to go ahead it's like a purpley brown and try to deepen it up a little bit and it did help a little but not much and then I'm just cutting my crease really quick we're going to do a simple little cut crease here and taking that all the way to the outer corner and I'm just using my L'Oreal infallible concealer which is one of my favorite drugstore ones right now and then I am taking D5 which is this beautiful shimmery purple color and just keeping that on the outer corner and kind of angling that in and I'm splitting that into three sections and next we're going to take C4 which is a pretty uh, sparkly orange color I would say it's more satin than shimmer um, it does have a few bits of glitter in there but it's more of a satiny and I'm taking that about a third of the way in as well as like I said I'm splitting that up into threes and then I'm taking C5 which is this goldy orangey color and putting that on the rest and filling it all in and just blending those three colors together. And now I'm going back with that deep burgundy brown purpley color and keeping that on the outer third of my lower lash line and then taking that shimmery orange and putting that on the middle third and then taking that goldy orange and putting that on the lower inner corner lash line area if that makes sense and then I'm just going to take the Hank and Henry liquid liner pen and create a simple little wing um, I haven't really used a lot of eyeliner especially liquid liners lately or you know for a while and I've been back into giving myself a nice little wing I've kind of missed it and then just coating my lashes with the Tarte Lights camera lashes and popping on a pair of my morphe lashes in the style santa monica and then for lips i just went over my lips with lion's mane in the lion king collection with sir john but it wasn't vibrant enough so i just went back with coral crush by maybelline and just to finish off the look i wanted something bright and bold okay dolls so this is the final look of the palette and I hope you guys like it. I promise you guys, I always promise to do more looks with these palettes and then something new comes out and then I move on to the next. But I promise you guys, I am gonna get use out of these palettes, these three, volumes one, two, and three, because I didn't pay $180 for nothing. So we're gonna get some use out of them. And they're such beautiful palettes. I feel so inspired to create with them and it's been a while since a palette really made me feel that way. You will definitely see more looks. This isn't the last you've seen in Norbina. And also I'm thinking about just filming some quick looks with it on my Instagram as well. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, go over and do that now. Um, it is at Desi Glam Life, all one word. So just look for me on there. And my link is actually down below in the description. Ooh, excuse me. It is 1230 in the morning right now. So 
I'm just wrapping everything up after a long work day. As you can see, my eyes are watering so bad. I'm so tired. But yeah, I love this palette. This is my favorite out of the three so far. Granted, I haven't gotten to use volumes one and two. As far as the color layout, this is my favorite. This is my favorite because it is the most neutral palette out of the three. And the pops of colors in here are all colors that I would legit wear. Most of the colors that I use are so amazing. And I've only had a problem with two colors so far. And I've actually played around with this palette quite a bit. So I'm not too bummed about that. But um, they can all be perfect. So anyway, that's all I have for you guys. I'm done rambling. Get entered in the giveaway. And I will see you guys very soon. Love you so much. Bye-bye. Good night. Or good day. Whenever you're watching this. Bye. Oh, so yeah. Ah, I'm trying to stay awake here. Oh. oh my god. Oh my god, you guys, I can't stop yawning. Most 